Let's walk through the journey of WeCart, our hypothetical online app for grocery delivery. To track the customer's journey in the online space, you begin with identifying specific ad platforms, such as search engines, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and many others. This way, the app company can see how many users actually saw the ad. Next in the marketing journey, a viewer who has seen the ad in any of these places will click on the ad. Great, now the viewer is on the WeCard website and a cookie gets placed on the viewer's browser. You've probably encountered cookies when web surfing. You remember those warnings you get that a cookie is being placed if you continue using the website? Yeah, we're talking about that feature. Once that cookie is placed, the company is tracking what the potential customer is doing on the website. For example, whether the person is browsing or selecting items for purchase. Essentially, it tracks the potential customer's progress along the customer journey, whenever the customer interacts with the website. So now the company's goal is to get this potential customer to do something on the website. In the case of WeCart, it could be something as simple as getting the customer to give their email address or download a brochure. When a customer's action is a result of a prompt, it is called call to action. So when the customer is prompted to submit the email, that is referred to as call to action or CTA. Next step, if the customer adds items to their cart, the cookie tracks the step in the customer journey to becoming a paid customer. So now WeCard would want these customers who have added items to the cart to make that purchase. And finally, the viewer submits the payment details and goes through checkout. Now you have a paid customer and they have completed the customer journey. This customer journey can be described by five stages, awareness, interest, desire, purchase, and post-purchase. In each stage, the marketer uses different digital tools to attract a potential customer and try to transform them into an actual customer. This customer journey can also be tracked along a marketing funnel, which is a concept we will talk about in the next video. The funnel allows you to tie everything together on the customer journey and track where they get counted along the journey.